Hi Sarge, welcome to your 2022 yearly reading. Thank you so much for being here. I missed you guys. I missed tuning into the Sag energy. And I'm just curious what this year is going to bring. I do have a good feeling about this reading. For some reason, I just feel something is, you know, in the water. <laughs> um, so basically, I have written down a couple things when it comes to astrology for this year ahead. Of course, I'm going to use my tarot cards as well. And that's where I'm going to start off with. Um, I'm going to put 12 cards on the table and each and every card will rem represent one of the months of 2022. So how you how, how have you been? I hope you are well. I hope all is going good. All right, you already have two cards out. We have nine of wands for January and nine of cups for February. So it's starting off the year ready for battle ready for anything you're like you know whatever's coming at me i'm ready i'm ready to take this on you know these last two years have surprised you left and right you have to duck you have to jump you know and now you're like am i in the clear am i in the clear i'm not sure because you know the sound was in your sign so that comes with certain kind of events and responsibilities and you're in the clear Okay, you're going to feel real good about being in the clear. Because in January, we'll have the North Node moving from um, Gemini into Taurus. And so that will be your sixth house. And we'll have your, you know, the North Node leaving your sign. Uh, sorry, the South Node leaving your sign. And it's going to move into Scorpio. So your 12th house. So your 12th and 6th house will be activated for next year and a half. Okay, I'm going to get the cards out because you see I already are starting to go real left real quick okay what is what else coming up for my Sagittarius look at that oh movement Ooh, can I get the card yes we have the knight of wands for March and then for April we have the eight of wands everything is so in alignment with one another ready for action wow for April we have the king of wands all this passion, all this drive, all this motivation. And then we come into June. We are falling into the Five of Swords energy. It's okay. We're going to clarify that. Let's see how we can work with that. For July, what, what's coming up for July? The Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Yes. Going from being motivated, putting in time, energy, and effort to actually getting the payout. Look at that, two of wands, so many wands. So much fire, so much passion. I love it. Okay, so that's for August. For September, we have the Page of Swords and for October, we have the Three of Wands. Ships coming, again a wand, of course. Sagittarius, what else? <laughs> Look at that. Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. You only have a, you have two sword cards, but where? You have one cup. You have one cup card, but there's not a lot of cups going on in your chart. Not a lot. And also, I don't see any major arcanas in here. It's just minor arcanas. That is interesting. Okay, let's do some clarification instantly and then let's jump into it. The Five of Swords. I want to clarify the five swords because there's like um, plans coming direct again. Mercury is coming direct in June. We have the seven of wands, of course. It's clarified <laughs> with a wand card. All right. Here we go. That's for January. We have the six of cups. All right. Let's jump into this reading for you. Can you see the cards like this? I think so. I'm sorry, I forgot one card and an overall energy for 2022. One additional overall energy, please. Here we go. We have the Hierophant. Yep. North Node in Taurus. Taurus card coming out. Okay. So, like I said, in the beginning of the year, we have the North Node shifting. That it happens every year and a half. So, it's been... The South Node has been in your side for a year and a half. And... It has left you with some some walls up okay like you are on 
you get your uh, guard up here and there. This is not for all areas of your life, but with some people and some areas in your life, you have your guards up. It's like, I, I don't know, anything can happen. I'm ready for whatever. 2022, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna eat her life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's focus. Because we have halfway through the month, we, or all the way, all the way through the month, actually, the end of January, um, we'll have Venus in retrograde. Okay, and that will be in your second house. So your house of finances, resources, um, incomes and things like that, value, the value of the things that you own, your material things that you own. Um, and that will come direct at the end of the month, okay, at the end of January, so that's good. You're going to have a much more clearer vision about what it is you truly value and what it is you, you no longer really need to keep close, and that could be belief systems as well. Um, and with that guard up, by the beginning of February, halfway through the month, like I wanted to say earlier on, um, we have Mercury going retrograde. So we're dealing with some, you know, instability in the beginning of the year. So it's not that anything major has to happen or has to go wrong or anything. No, I don't want to put that type of fear out there. It's about taking it easy. You know, just exploring, just enjoying, just review it one more time. Just look it over. It's a really great idea. It's really what you want. Is that really what you like? So what you love. It's just taking it easy. You know, does a job still fulfill you on many levels? Or does it only bring in income? So maybe two or three other sources of income that you can add to it and do some research on it. All of those things, really good for generate. Take it easy in the beginning. Um, I do sense that you might begin off the year with some messages from someone. Something from the past may come in. Mercury retrograde, obviously. Um, that will take place in your third house. So that is the house of communication. Your communication can be a little raw, you know, a little rough. <laughs> or you might have misunderstanding with people around you or someone from the past comes and communicate things to you and you're like oh no no thank you i'm leaving you on read or maybe i won't even read it at all <laughs> delete you know so i do feel that you have fought so hard to come to a certain point where you are capable of saying no where you're capable of having the boundaries but then it's also important that you bring a balance back into that is there certain things you can let go of? Is there certain things, conversations that you could have and you could resolve it and you can just both just move on, move forward. I feel that in the month of January, you really have the opportunity to look at that and feel different about it as well. Not making any major moves or major decisions, but definitely looking it over. Is there another option out there on how to communicate with that person or how to ask for that race or how to communicate that in fact that you're about to leave? your job or maybe a relationship you know it's it's different from for each and every single one of you because we're all in different stages of our pathway but overall what is activated is um like i said that that level of communication someone may come back from the past also with the six of cups apologizing wanting to rekindle something and you're like oh wait up i'm not sure you see I'm not sure to give up what I got going on over here. I like my inner peace that I've built. I'm still ready for anything though. You see, it's been a battle. So, that's okay. Because look at what February brings up. So from the 1st of, sorry, the 4th of February, Mercury goes there direct again. So that's out of the way. And a couple days prior to that, Venus had moved uh, direct again as well. So you have a clearer vision on what brings you that level of fulfillment. When this card shows up, it always indicates if you have a certain question, if you want to, you know, do something or you have a question, if you will receive it, this is always a yes card. So yes, you will receive the thing that you are focusing on, that you want to, to call in and you will get a yes. So if you are looking for a new job or something like that, it can definitely come on your pathway or the opportunity can come on your pathway in the beginning of the year and you're feeling a level of contentment and satisfaction. Of course, you might actually want more because I do feel that passionate energy rising within you. 
um, but you're you're starting off from a good space to manifest like February brings you into a certain s surrender state of I'm already good so anything else that, that will be add to that it's just even better it's just more beautiful but it's already good it's already beautiful I'm already satisfied you know but I'm open for whatever is has my name on it and attracting like I feel you in good manifestation mode uh, great energy to attract things in touch so from that energy from March we move into Knight of Wands very good you have you have things on the table you have things you want to do I feel you you will be passionate um, to build it's all about building making expanding things making it bigger for some of you you are expanding your house so literally your home you might have, have like um, an extra roofing with windows going on um, or you want to build something in your garden or an expansion of the living room basically um, for some of you you want to move from one house to another you want to want it to be bigger or you want overall things to expand for example when it comes to family time being at home spending doing things you like to do that you do in your free time um, and expanding that for yourself you know having more time with your family having more time with your kids or um, with your nieces and nephews and things like that just expanding the things that bring you that sense of joy I think that that is really a major thing for you guys keep an eye on your health throughout the entire year and definitely let's say the first half of 2023 as well but we'll talk about that when we get there <clears throat> just overall keep your health in check just check in with yourself because you guys can sometimes just go on endlessly <laughs> and then that's the one you know the wall so i'm just saying that you can still do all all of the things you want to do but maybe sometimes need a little bit more space a little bit more time or a little bit longer breaks in between just keep you know checking in with yourself i feel you will have a much more efficient daily routine coming up like you feel that push and pull to make your time more efficient like you can actually put it in different ways so you can do more in one day and feel less tired and you have the ability to really set those things in motion and actually stick with it some of you you are really um going to find like a new workout thing or something and it will work beautifully for you if you want uh, to transform your physical body this will be a great year for you you will see results that maybe before you weren't able or capable of reaching so i'm just giving you that on, as a side note okay i'm not focusing too much on the physical body all i'm saying is that if that's something you really really would love you're putting in your you know in a healthy way your time and energy into it you might see some quicker results things will work out quicker for you um all right so for i need to breathe let's breathe <laughs> breathe with me deep breathing that's the energy i'm feeling it's so hyped <laughs> all right for april you want to go things move quickly uh, you have quicker response this year as well um i feel when it comes to april it's still go season that's what i'm that's what i'm feeling like pretty strongly you um like I said, have quick results with things you, you want to build, the things you want to invite into. Your Jupiter uh, around in um, in April, I believe, it, it, it's going to move into Jupiter. I'm uh, sorry, Jupiter in April is going to move from Pisces into Aries. And that will connect to your fifth house. So... I just want to give you guys a quick heads up if you don't want to end up adding another family member to the family um, if you know what I'm saying um, or you don't want to get someone in that position basically um, just be conscious about it because there's it could be uh, right until let's say between April and October there's a higher chance that you will end up 
in a situation okay <laughs> i'm just saying and if that's something you really like then that's the time spent where you can focus on really making those things happen for you and your partner or for you you know everyone does it in a different way um okay so that's just a side note that i really wanted to give because be conscious about it okay because it can happen quickly especially because jupiter is expanding it in your fifth house and the other things that expand in your fifth house is romance is creativity how you deal with things um as well um how you focus where your focus lays basically um, and how well you are capable of having this vision and bringing it into life and finding the right resources to make that happen basically that will be expanded and uh, stimulated by Jupiter. So that's really good news actually um so and that's where all this passion comes from that aries energy it's like it's triggering you in all the right ways <laughs> and brings out the best of you Sag. i feel like you're ready to take a seat on the throne again i feel like you're feeling more like yourself your na natural ability to build and to expand things is coming up um your natural leadership come up and then you have a moment in june and i feel that's an aftermath of mercury retrograde because we'll have a mercury retrograde in may until the beginning the third of June so right beginning it's complete <laughs> okay a little bit of shadow but um that will be in Gemini so that is your seventh house I feel when it comes to relationships it's definitely I see some shifts and changes happening in your house of relationships and not only in June I feel throughout the entire year you might actually um, have changes in that you might have plans to move in together or get your own separate house even though you don't want to break up you just want it in a different way it's so sad you know to do it in a different way the way that it fits for the both of you um and like things like that i feel like taking things from one step to another for some of you yes you're thinking about proposing to someone or vice versa it might be on the mind it could be in the air but just don't focus too much on it because if it's meant to happen it will always happen okay <laughs> you could feel the push or something just comes at you you will know when it's timing when the timing is right and you will have the freedom like the restrictions of having the question like should i should and i are going to be removed you have a clear vision of what you would really want to do with that it's about deepening bonds deepening connection um, you might shift with some business partner like it might be one partner right now and you might actually end up with another person by the end of the year that is better fitting for your future plans because your plans are changing your mind is shifting uh, the things you want to do what you want to focus on is shifting so yeah it could be that another person is better fitting for uh, your future plans basically but you will know when you know okay you will know um the five of swords and the seven of wands together um does indicate that there's in you know because it's it's gemini season you you might get a little bit in your mind thinking that everybody's on your case and it's not it can feel that way um you have a very strong mind of what you want to do if your body is saying uh yes but not right now listen to it otherwise you will get like a longer delay which is not necessary at all listen once again like i said tune into your physical body make it a you know a triangle that is connected and each and every point let's let me make it a good triangle over here there we go <laughs> If this is a triangle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Each and every single point here, here, and here is equally important and it all forms the triangle. Okay? So your physical body, your mental body, and your emotional body, they all need to sort of have some space this year. If you can create space for each and every tree and let them work together and for each other, you crack the cup and you can really really like do so much this year more than you might actually think but don't get caught up in forcing yourself to things putting yourself down because today you couldn't do it and what is wrong with you and no no like it's like okay today's not the day i'm just going to take a day off or i'm just going to work 
uh, till like three and then I'm gonna rest and it's okay. I can do it tomorrow. I can do it next week. Go with that flow. You have the beautiful queen of pentacles. So there might be an important earth sign coming into your life in July or there will just be more um, um, present, sorry, in your life in the month of July. But overall, I feel like you are um, coming into this energy of wealth. Because you can have financial stability, financial freedom, and then you have this wealth energy of just having enough and not really being focused on gaining more. It's like, I am content, I am good, and I'm in a position to actually extend some energy to people or some money or some finances, financial resources, or, or share certain things with people uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm good. I am good at this point, so I do not necessarily need more. If I can just contain what I have right now, I'm content with that. That's July and energy. Uh, with the two of wands, you probably set your energy in the end, like because of that Leo energy as well. You know, it's like sparking that within you because it's your fellow fire sign. So it sparks that within you. You might have some great ideas. You might have want, want to put certain things in motion. At the beginning of the year, we have major planets direct. So everything is flowing easier, expanding easier, growing easier. And then the rest of the year, you know, let's say around September, certain planets are starting to move into, you know, um, retrograde. So they're going backwards, meaning that everything can be a little bit delayed or a little bit different than you might think. And you're just going to have to, um, when you are putting your energy it's like okay that can happen then it's okay and you know you can actually prepare for things like that and it's not frustrating it's like you can work with it and it can actually work very well for you as well because i'm not seeing major troubles anything um coming your way there might be some hiccups here and there yes of course it's an entire year <laughs> that we're covering in these what 25 30 minutes but there's an overall energy of things just working out, things just flowing. And if they are not, they're just not for you because something else is waiting around the corner. And you will feel that as well. With the Page of Swords here, there will be moments where you're just going to have to... One sec. Deal with certain truths coming out. Hey, here and there, people might actually be a little raw with you because you are sending out such powerful energy. And so people think you can carry it, you can handle it. So when it comes to communication, um, expect the unexpected now and then, okay? <laughs> Nothing you cannot handle. Um, there's something you might actually order online or someone you meet online. And I feel like it's not the person that you expected you were talking to. So there's some energy in there, okay? That's not for all of you, but that's for some of you. For others, I feel that with the Page of Swords, you you can be communicating with one another and then you're meeting up. Or it goes through emails and things like that, but then you move it into the physical um, communication. So... There might be something uh, when it comes to like a job offer or something like that and you actually have to travel to go and see or they come and travel to you and you can like f meet face to face. Um, I feel overall certain things you've been planting and you've been putting in energy and effort in because all I see is like you're doing, you're doing, you're doing. <laughs> and then the end of the year is for the payout. That's where the, all the yellow energy comes in. That's where your ships come in. That's what something you've been waiting on for a long period of time. Something long lasting comes in and look at your whole garden flourish. It's so much better to have the nine of pentacles showing up for you than actually the nine of cups. Nine of cups great as well. But this is like, for example, when you order food and it's a real good dish and you're like oh it's so good and you know i can eat this night and it's great <clears throat> that's like a nine of cups you're getting something you want you're getting something you know temporary temporarily are very happy with so you feel emotional content this is feeling emotional free 
uh, stable, independent, and you know that tomorrow and the day after and the day after, you can make all of that happen, that good dish happen again and again and again. Okay, so that's something that I'm feeling for you. The higher fin is here. So I do see some of you wanting to do some research on some um, like ancestry, like uh, maybe connected to your country, connect to other countries. Some of you are actually wanting to learn more about your own, uh, you know, natal chart and you're really diving deeper into it. All of those things, when you feel the push to just retreat yourself a little bit and really get caught up in something that intrigues you um, when it comes to research and studying and all of those things very highly um, um, yeah like how do I put that um, recommend it yes definitely good it's it's your chart that is pushing that so just follow those urges basically um, and just Balance it out. Balance it out with showing up in the world and balance out with retreating for yourself. Um, those are things that I'm feeling. Okay, I'm going to... Ooh, okay, she's already here. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> um, I'm gonna reshuffle because I wasn't even shuffling yet. Okay, if it has to come out, it will come out again. Sagittarius. What's the card for Sag? Sagittarius. For 2022. Here we go. We have... Master Jesus. I love this card. It says, You are on the path of light. Love and forgiveness, father healing is possible at this time. For some of you, it's a father uh, figure that what I was spoken about in the beginning, like you again. You know, some not all of us are blessed to have a good connection with our father figure regardless if that is a biological father or not some of us don't have a father okay we just simply don't have one and that's okay everybody ha is in a different situation but for some of you you had a father or that father disappeared on a younger age and now you end up having a conversation which you are on you know defense about but healing is possible and that definitely brings you into the Nine of Cups and it sets you free from something that restricted you. It was also a self-belief system that was connected to that. But for others of you, you are in the path of light, of love and forgiveness. Let go of this as much as you can. Set yourself free. Set yourself free, Sage, from that energy. You deserve to feel free. And look what you can do when you are freely moving you're releasing holding on to things that have happened in the past holding on to feelings and grudges and things that you might feel towards certain individuals setting them free and letting yourself um move freely again all right i'm gonna read this this message from the book i haven't had him come out yet in a reading so i'm curious forgiveness is an act of self love you are being encouraged to know that whatever you have done to yourself or others the divine is not commanding you sorry you don't have to forget what has happened you uh, sorry but you no longer need to allow your whole story to be divined by a situation that doesn't support your happiness jesus is here to bring miraculous shifts of healing to you and all of those around you and to release you from the burdens of self-loading he wants you to know that the, he sees the child of god within you he also brings clarity and healing to any conditions sorry situations concerning your father either on earth or in heaven that's beautiful as healing i think this, these cards, and I feel for you, this was the perfect message because this is the only really spiritual card that is in there. Um, when it comes to like Jesus, you know, but I, I love the idea of it. Um, but these cards had something so magical for each and every reading for 2022 about bringing a particular message or all the messages into one card. I feel for you as well because this is very important if you want the rest to really flow the way that it's able to flow for you in this next year um and so tune in use january for that 
you're really capable of healing and releasing and reconciling certain things and with an old part of yourself the part of yourself that was there before a certain event took place before that person did that or didn't do that for you right before you started to become so hard on yourself or before you started to compare yourself to your old self before whatever situation have taken place or to another person or to other people in general and you were able to create freely and not compare yourself to others or to not all part of yourself but to embrace all sides and allow something new to flourish again all right thank you Saj for listening if you all the, make it all the way up to this point I really appreciate that um, have a beautiful holiday season and happy early <laughs> 2022 to all of you but I will be back on my channel before that also happy birthday once again if you listen to this still before your birthday season ends I'm sending you a big kiss and a hug and I love you and thank you so much for supporting me throughout this entire year and hopefully you guys will join my journey on 2022 as well bye Saj